Greetings to you all in the blessed name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. For our meditation this morning, I have entitled the theme as Serve Each Other, for which I have taken the reference from the Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 10, verse 45. For the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life a ransom for many. A good and well-to-do youth came to a teacher and told him, that he wanted to do some social service for the upliftment of the needy and poor people. The teacher asked him, Do you have the necessary qualities for undertaking such service? The youth replied that he did not know about the qualities. Then the teacher told him about the qualities which were as follows. Firstly, one should have sufficient tolerance as social service requires hard work. Secondly, absence of pride. One should be simple and humble. Thirdly, self-control, that is, control over senses and mind is another essential requirement. Fourthly, capacity to take others with you as one person alone cannot do much. The youth realized that he had none of these. So the teacher told him to first acquire these qualities and then come back to him. Martin Luther King has put it this way, If I can help somebody as I pass along, if I can cheer somebody with a word or song, if I can show somebody he is traveling wrong, then my living will not be in vain. If I can do my duty as a Christian ought, if I can bring salvation to a world once wrought, if I can spread the message as the Master thought, then my living will not be in vain. Humans are social animals. Hence, being social is the best excuse to be part of the society. Society is full of hands with haves and have-nots. Both serve each other to accomplish personal and common goals and dreams. We are more effective when we act in groups and we derive a sense of purpose from making the lives of others better in addition to our own. Certainly, in our self-centered world, serve one another is a dichotomy. Who has the time to serve the other when one does not have enough time to take care of personal needs? When you serve others with the intention that you genuinely want something big to happen, a wonderful relationship is formed. You are in connection with the other. Your energy waves of service pass on to the life of another person. You are being attentive to the needs of others. When we serve one another, it is all about others, their needs, desires and preferences. Therefore, Render your service to others cheerfully. Serving others without love and genuine feeling of being useful to them or their lives never help either you or the other. Serving others in it of itself is a powerful opportunity to help and when you start to serve others, you'll realize the simple fact that we all need help and because you realize that, you will start to get in the habit of serving others even more. Even when you feel that you don't need the support of other person, the very act of thinking involves the other person. Let me remind you that the greatest gift that you can give to yourself is being of service to others. It will always expose some grateful hearts which make your heart grateful too. Service to human beings is equal to serving God. 
service is a most beautiful aspect of life if it is done with love it enhances the value of life every day make it a point to do good to others in a spirit of selfless service open up yourself to render small services for those in need irrespective of familiarities or preferences volunteer to extend your helping hand whenever occasions arise make sacrifices of personal needs and comforts to help the needy i would like to conclude with a quote by albert einstein only a life lived for others is a life worth while i repeat only a life lived for others is a life worth while shall we look to god in prayer lord our heavenly father we thank you for this day that you have given to us even as we begin this day oh master we seek your presence upon each and everything that we do everything that we plan oh master let it be meaningful to your name oh master and it may bring glory to your name in every endeavor in this endeavor oh master we seek your presence to be guided by you oh master so that whatever we do is good in your sight oh master we commit ourselves and this entire day into your care in jesus name we pray amen